staff and students. Those are words no school administrator wants to say. Room 160, you need to be secured. In the two years since the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary in Connecticut, schools around the country have been ramping up safety efforts and experimenting with different approaches to prepare for worst case scenarios. One high school in Phoenix challenged students to help make their school safer. During a reverse evacuation, Administrators asked journalism students at South Mountain High School to create a video for their peers on what to do during emergency situations. Principal Lucretia Williams made the request after a potentially dangerous incident caused a lockdown in the fall. They're at lunch at this time. They're eating, having fun. Um, so we literally push the kids into buildings. They're run, you know, they're walking fast. They're not running because they don't know that the seriousness of it. That there is an alleged person who has a weapon on campus with a backpack. The response to that incident wasn't as smooth as school officials had hoped. It goes back to an old sports cliche, which is you play like you practice. Head of security Brian McNeil says regular drills are important. We are in lockdown. In the back of the room, stand up, turn cell phones off. The whole purpose of a lockdown is to minimize casualties. Um, we know that sometimes, in, depending on the situation, we're not going to be 100%. You can't get in? You need to go to the old gym. Old gym? Okay. Quickly, quickly. Well, we try to get everybody inside and secured as fast as we can. Senior Jose Contreras, the lead producer of the student video, says it's been clear for some time that students need more information. Some classrooms locked their doors before all the students were in, so some students were freaking out that they couldn't get in, and it created a lot of chaos and a lot of fear even to some students. Many students were unaware that teachers are supposed to lock classroom doors immediately in many emergency situations, as Annie Montgomery did during the drill we were allowed to film. And after that? It's very important that we be quiet, um, that we we go in our little room over there and close the door and make the room look like it's empty um, and that they bring all their backpacks and belongings so if someone did make it into the main room they would think this place was empty. It, it's a little worse than worrying about Ebola. At South Mountain, teachers like Montgomery have written instructions detailing how to respond to various emergencies. Once you become aware. This year they also watched a new training video developed with guidance from first responders, educators, mental health professionals and law enforcement. Recent events remind us that active shooter incidents can occur anywhere in our community. When I first watched the video, I cried. It's really hard to deal with that uh, children can be put in that kind of danger. Irene Diaz is the Phoenix Union High School District Supervisor for Security. She says the active shooter action plan video has helped teachers and staff become better prepared. We were training our staff with, you know, get small, get quiet. We needed to do something to train our teachers to prepare them so that more, more kids do survive should an incident like that occur. The video, though, was considered inappropriate for students, and they never saw it. But as part of the research for their own video, the journalism students met with Deborah Repke, the head of the nonprofit that created the one for teachers. Otherwise, I think you guys, again, are doing just a really good job. She suggested they consider addressing situations that could come up in an emergency. There could be situations where you have rooms that are not lockable. So what does a substitute teacher or what does a student do in that situation? Or if someone happens to be in the restroom during a lockdown, a scenario included in the student's final cut. Hide inside the stall furthest away from the door. For additional information, the young journalists also interviewed students and teachers to learn more about their school's current emergency protocols including what was and wasn't working. Is that a student or a teacher behind you? She needs to be in the room. We found a weak spot within our school, within specifically our department, um, with accessibility. If you were able to get through my classroom, you would have access to all the other teachers' classrooms within my department and has been addressed needing lock, two-way locks on our doors. Um, how effective would you say the drills at South are and why? Uh, fire drills, evacuation drills, all of them or just all of them. All of them. Uh, haven't been efficient as I feel they need to be. Uh, the first uh, one we had in November, for example, was very poor. Uh, created a fire hazard at the um, choke point of our stadium. 
It turns out many people noticed that problem. Describe to me what happens when you've got 1,500 kids going to the football field at once. It gets really hectic. I mean, if you can imagine so many kids shoulder to shoulder trying to get inside the, the football field, you know, people start freaking out and it, it just creates more problems than the one already presented. The student journalists shared what they learned with administrators, and even though it wasn't news Principal Lucretia Williams wanted to hear, she recognized its value. We have a lot of work to do. We're working, you know, vigilantly to take care of that. And them uncovering those gaps and communicating them to us, that's just like gold. We need it. But even after addressing those problems, there has been one issue that keeps coming up. Do you ever tell your peers to take Jill seriously, or are you pressured by your peers to goof off? Um, well, sometimes I do feel pressured to goof off because they can, like, you don't want to be the one that's not. Mm -hmm. Students must remain quiet and calm. Jose Contreras hopes the video will change a few minds about that. Not everything is a drill. Sometimes real stuff does happen. People need to realize that. The South Mountain Journalism students hope to eventually distribute their video to other schools that request it. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm April Brown in Phoenix.